Hey guys, welcome back to another Before and After Shaves. Glad to have you all here and watching. Thank you, I appreciate that very much. Well, today I have, I've got two uh, mail calls to show you. One being from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And the second being from a place called ClassicShaving.com. Or the grooming network so I will be opening these packages for you all today <clears throat> well, let's get started shall we first up the Phoenix artisan accoutrements so how's everyone's day been I hope everyone's doing okay has had a great shave or plans on having a good one I shaved yesterday so today I may or may not these uh, box cutter knives are really good for opening but Looking forward to showing you what's inside. So, all right. This will be something that will or will not be sold out in the near future. So, I'm really hoping. All right, I've got my third invoice with the rocket and the little characters on it. And these, um, just a quick cover. These are um, little shave of the day cutouts you can do if you've gotten invoices from PAA. That's what they're um, putting these on. So you can uh, up your shave of the day game with these um, little picks. A really cool little card. I've got two of these now. It's the Doppelganger um, artwork, I believe. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. First up. Okay, let's start small and work our way up to the big, shall we? First up, I got the, uh, the, okay, the low haiku based on Hai Karate, the homage to Hai Karate. It's the low haiku body soap. Now, I've used the aftershave, and it's got a really bright scent. It's really, uh, it really comes out nicely. Mm, smells wonderful. I don't know what the scent notes are. I didn't really um, go over them, but I believe there's a musk involved. I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah. Just look it on the phoenixshaving.com at the scent notes. But I'm just slice that in there. I'm gonna smell it right on the bar. Oh yeah. Great scent, guys. It's a once it's lathered up on the body, it's gonna be a lot brighter and a lot stronger. Alright. Next item. And that was the bath soap. And now I've got some uh, samples to show you. One I've been trying to, one I was wanting to purchase. And one that, you know, I kind of just, I've seen it in Shave of the Days. And it kind of intrigues me. I want to give it a shot. Good Vibrations Aftershave Cologne. Based on, um, well, I don't know what it's based on, but it's supposed to be like for good times. That's what it's supposed to smell like. In a second which is not available in a full-size aftershave bottle, the Captain Smythe Reserve Bay Rum. I got four samples, and they put all four in the same bag, which is nice. I like that. So, yeah, Captain Smythe Reserve Bay Rum. I look forward to trying that out and the good vibrations in the near future. All right, now, let's get on to the big one, shall we? Travel Scuttle. The Interstellar Travel Scuttle. Indestructible, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, made with space age polymers. It comes in this really nice, I want to say maroon or like a, um, I don't know what the color of those rocks in Arizona, you know. That nice red color. Yeah, the Travel Scuttle, the second release of a Travel Scuttle from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This one, however, is different. Being that the bag in this one is that color, like a maroonish color. 
on the web page I was thinking it was like the uh, rock red or an orange color but fellas look at this this is Prussian blue the original travel scuttle was clear people requested it would be a darker color because they wanted to see their lather performance while lathering the scuttle and I do agree that's what I would want as well so that was a good call also the pouch it comes in it's a good microfiber cloth to clean your razor you know, polish up for those quick shave of the day picks or wipe your scuttle out which you really don't need to but yeah you can also throw your brush in there your your pouched up razor you know a little sample soap which by the way i will show you in a moment so just a good on the go kit highly recommended still available as of today so get one while you can and it comes with a silicone stopper non-corrosive <clears throat> so it won't corrode like cork and it just goes right in that stopper and the soap it comes with a travel soap exclusive to the scuttle it's called planet phoenix it is some atar it's an atar type scent that douglas worked on really nice i like it, it smells kind of like an old school old-fashioned but yet it smells some kind of a resin or something i'm not really sure but he never released actually i think i smell like a pine tar or something some kind of a resin that's what i'm getting a coniferous scent of some sort but that's all i can think of and it comes with this little envelope i don't let's see what's inside okay okay it's the uh it's the instructions creative innovative passion fueled phoenix artisan accoutrements and this is like a thank you for your purchase of our space age travel scuttle well it says here it's a sincere thank you <clears throat> thank you for your purchase of our space age travel scuttle if this is your first phoenix shaving product then we extend to you a sincere welcome aboard as we embark on a journey of very exciting new designs reboots of lost classics and bold artisan creation artisan creation sure to aid in taking the fuzz off your face and leaving a smile in its place this is more than just shave on us just shaving on us i'm sorry let me uh, fix that this is more than just shaving to us phoenix shaving is an experience and i completely agree there's more to it but i'm not going to read all of it they are definitely an experience <clears throat> if you haven't checked out phoenix shaving i highly recommend because you are missing out on some of the best stuff ever so um all right but yeah the travel scuttle though it's made of indestructible plastic very lightweight <clears throat> so it's a really nice scuttle i really like it <clears throat> i'm trying to think if i'm missing anything we yeah, have the soap smells absolutely wonderful pardon me if i miss any information i'll think of it as i'm going so okay next from classicshaving.com i will start unboxing what i had gotten from them <clears throat> so just bear with me Those little corners can be a little tough to cut. <clears throat> okay. All right, we're seeing something here. First off, we have a shaving brush that came with all this. It's a satin tip, the purest, a white synthetic brush. Really nice handle. It's got an interesting grip, like um, a silicone or something but this is something i wasn't sure if i'd be interested in buying but look at this folks got my first straight razor kit so looking very forward to giving this a shot comes with everything it comes with the razor the strop 
the soap and the brush. So even if you don't have much soap, this is a definite, you know, a deal. It was on sale for $50. Original price is $89. But, um, looking very forward to seeing how this works for me. There's a little guy that shows you, you know, how to take care of it, how to properly use it. Yeah, it shows you how to hold your straight razor, like get a grip and everything. And I think it also talks about maintenance, but it's mainly showing you how, like, how to strop and what angle to shave with. Yeah. Okay. Classicshaving.com sticker. Nice. This is my first purchase from their website. Also, I got um, got me some more crystal blades. I really like these blades, so I wanted to have some more. Figured I'd get them while I was there. All right, next. Though this was a kit, I intentionally just wanted to get a straight razor, but I need the strop, so I'd have to have gotten a strop and a straight razor at least. So here's my strop that came with, a beginner quality. It's definitely real leather, it smells authentic. Uh, you would strop, I believe, on the um, textured side. The other side is uh, all leather, but this side's got that texture, so I think that's where you strop. Okay, and I can hang it on my wall. Oh, it's gonna look beautiful in here. What's a shaved in without a strop, guys? Okay. That was the strop. Also, the soap it came with is by a company I've never tried. The Blades Grim. It's called Smolder. And it comes in this little plastic container here. Yeah, it's uh, very nice. Very unique to anything I have, so that's good. Look very forward to trying this. It's a hand poured shaving soap, so uh, did I show you guys? It's a hard soap, too. No, no, it's a it's got a good texture to it, so it's like a croak. Yeah, you can put your finger in it, see, just got a push in it, so it's sort of a croak. The base of this soap is. Kosher vegetable glycerin, sodium cocoate from coconut, sodium stearate, which is stearic acid, glycol, which is coconut, sorbitol, deionized water, bentonite clay, and fragrance. And the piece to resistance, you guessed it, guys, the straight razor. Let's pull this bad boy out. That's it. It's got its label here, so I gotta cut right here to get that open. Get the fingers out of the way so I don't cut myself. Alright. It's like a cardboard container. And it's wrapped up in this plastic to uh, protect it. Or this wax paper. Just gonna lightly cut over that. Yeah, it's a wax paper. Probably to protect it from moisture, because straight razors hate water, especially carbon steel, so. Okay. All right, there it is, fellas. The gold dollar. I'll tell you what, that thing is, it's even got some kind of oil on it to preserve the uh, metal. See, there's like a layer of a, uh, like some kind of an oil, maybe mineral oil or something. Yeah, it's some kind of mineral oil. So, well, yeah, I said it was shave ready. It looks sharp to me. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Oh, 
looks kind of sharp. Yeah. So yeah, that's the straight razor, guys. And the outside feels like something like a plastic of some kind. See, I thought that was a texture when I uh, looked at it. So uh, yeah, it's a good beginner straight razor probably to help you get a grip of things. Hope you understand how to hold one and use one. So, all right. Well, there we have it, guys. The unboxing for the uh, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Travel Scuttle. Oh, and I forgot one thing, by the way. Hold on here. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is, guys. Um, speaking of travel scuttle, I did forget to mention that I've got a. Uh, it's got the. Uh, it's got the glove. Let's see to help keep your old lather hot. So how do you put that on? I think you put it on like this. Yeah, I can see. It goes right there on the end. And this part would go through the handle. Hold on, actually, here we go. The scuttle glove, I couldn't get it out. Yeah, it says Crown King right here. And it's elastic, so it'll have a it'll be stretchy. Alright, there we have it, guys. The scuttle glove to help keep your hot lather hotter throughout the shave. Especially if you do like a long straight razor shave. This will help keep your lather hot longer. Though it's not required. So And there we have it, guys. That was the uh, unboxing. I'm happy you turned uh, tuned in. I appreciate all your views very much. Thank you for watching. You all have a great day. And um, remember, life is far too short. So remember to be kind to one another. So uh, I'll see you guys.